to be Melanie Sykes, who's just been voted the eighth most beautifulest woman in the world. I, on the other hand, have been voted number 29. I think it's time to set the record straight. Give me that pen. Is it my turn yet? A bit ugly, I need to come in here. I just want one go, please. We're in. The final hurdle is to beat the thousands of wannabes who dream about being the next glamorous coat hanger, to tickle the pixels of the world media. The attraction could have something to do with the fact that Elder Body McPherson earned 230 billion pence last year. The money means nothing to me. This competition is strictly to do with jealousy, rivalry, envy, pride. How's it looking? Okay? You good? Cool. In order to beat your enemy, you've got to think like your enemy. And I need some inside information, so let's go and meet Mel. Hello, Melanie. Thank you for joining us. No problem. So tell us what exactly you're doing today, then. Well, we're here for Find Me Model um, right. for the big breakfast. Basically, the competition is with Models 1 and Boot 17, and Models 1 know what they're looking for, and what they're looking for is really good skin, mm -hmm. really good bone structure, obviously. Yeah. Um, they want bags of personality because you really need to have that in order to survive this business. Mm -hmm. And I just think fresh face. And I think as well, models want like a bit of quirkiness. Yeah. So I think that's probably what they're looking for. Yeah, what about personality-wise? So you've got to be a bit bubbly and I think confident. you've got to be bubbly and you've definitely got to be confident. But you know what, there's so, so many young people turn up, you can't just go in there and go, ah, I'm here, you know, because yeah. it's not usually in you. When I started modelling, I was quiet as a mouse. I actually did a competition like this years ago. Didn't get anywhere with it. So, it's you know, away, it, it? it's just kind of like, and it can, it can be brilliant if you win it, because obviously you're automatically known straight away, and yeah. that's half your battle. But if you don't, you can always go down other avenues anyway. Hair's done, makeup's done. I think they're calling me. Right, here we go. Wish me luck. Hello. If you want to kick Kate off the cover of Cosmo, you'll need the legs of Naomi, bigger boobs than Eva Hertzkova, and the lips of Julia Roberts. We're talking me, really. Mel Sykes, I'll have her for breakfast. So what do you think your big break was then? Because you did the Boddington's ad, That was you? it, that was yeah. it, that was the big break for me. I mean, I've been modelling for nine years and I'd done everything. I'd done everything. I'd been on the cover of Cosmo and I'd done adverts all over the world and oh. I did really, really well. And the Boddington's advert is the thing that got me onto a different career. So yeah, obviously yeah. that just was it for me. It was the best thing I've done. Even after all the people I've interviewed since, I still love doing that advert, both of them. Do you still do the Boddington's I've done two, No, I did the second one. And usually they have a different girl for every single one, so you don't know who the girl is. Mm -hmm. And it's always a surprise at the end. But the set, they asked me to do the second one because they couldn't find anybody as good as me. <laughs> so I was really <laughs> flattered. So yeah. who's the most famous person you've interviewed? Well, I've interviewed so many people now. I mean, I just did Cam, and I did Johnny Depp, who was yeah, gorgeous. Was about <laughs> my next question is the most good-looking person. Well, he was just... I mean, he's beautiful. And I did Bruce Willis as well, and he was grumpy. Really? Yeah, oh, he'd been out to He'd been partying the night before, and I don't think he'd got to bed till about <laughs> 10 in the morning. So he didn't want to be interviewing because, you know, they have to do interview after interview and answer the same questions. So he was a bit grumpy, but, you know, he was all right. You may have beat me this time, but there's plenty more opportunities where that coming from. Cheers. Another drink, please. 